Hey everybody, I'm KK. I'm Krista. And together we are K&K &K Crochet. And if you're new to the channel, because we've had several new ones come in, we'll just explain. I'm the mama. I'm the daughter. And I've been crocheting for 40 some years. And Kristen's been crocheting since I was like 8, 6 or 8. So like 10, 12 years, something like that. So um, we just love to share what we do and nothing really... Um, scheduled or anything like that about what we do we just like to tell you about what we're doing so today um last year Kristen decided that she wanted to do a year-long project this year we're not doing any of those nope I've learned my lesson I will not do that so I'll just quickly explain why I decided I want to do this year-long project in particular um I had seen everyone doing temperature blankets and I was like well I don't really want to do like a temperature related blanket but I was like well I'm known as a joke that I have all different kinds of moods so I decided well let's do a mood blanket so I signed different I signed um, my different moods that I felt like happy sad stressed exhausted relaxed different colors that I thought either explained like went with my mood or that would switch my mood from like a bad mood to a good mood um i have not done an update in a very long while so we're gonna update and explain where i'm at now so we have january february march, march. april april <laughs> and then may June, July, August, it gets funky. So, August to December literally flew by in the blink of an eye. So, you see all of them have black stripes separating the months. That stopped in August because I did not know when the month started or ended. It literally hit me. August, I started feeling Halloween-y. So, <laughs> I chose a Halloween yarn that was sent to me by Miss C., and it's like orange, green, purple, and white, and sparkly. It's frankenstein -y color. It's all sparkly, yeah. You can tell there. That so reminds me of Frankenstein. That's funny. Frankenstein's a monster. <laughs> Sorry. So it goes August, September, October, all through here. And then here starts November. I'm three weeks into November. Yay. And I am, let's see, one more. Yeah. So I have like five-ish more rows, and then I have a ton of ends to weave in, and it'll be done. So. And she wanted to do this because, I don't remember why. I explained because uh, I didn't want to do a temperature blanket. I wanted to use my scraps. and. But she'd never completed a oh, blanket, yeah, I never so completed that's what she wanted to do. Full-size blanket. Well, so when I started, the blanket was going to be, hold on this wide and then the stripes would go across but it won't be long enough but what I realized it'll be wide and long enough if it will go this way and be like a throw yeah so this is how it will go very cute so and I pledged to do a scarf and I did not finish my scarf um we talked about it for a while and I finally decided that you don't do anything that doesn't bring you pleasure and I'm done. Like July, <laughs> I was done. Um, summertime came and I was done. And but I, I persevered on. I think I got through the end of October. We both kind of slacked off at the same time. Yeah. And um, then I decided I would finish whatever month I was on. I think and maybe I even stopped right there. I don't know. I put a border around it and left it. And it's a scarf. Well, it was supposed to be a scarf. But then I've got it hanging up with stitch markers on it. And um, it's beautiful like that. I don't though. know if I can see if you can see yeah right there, there you, you can go see. yeah you can and see it there yep that's a beautiful case. little bumblebee hanging and yep so yep I didn't do that that was sent to me as a gift it's beautiful and so anyway that's where we stand with the mood project somebody had asked for updates so there's Kristen's update on her mood project and she's keeping going it'll be done soon because I was like don't say that well I am going to finish it. I'm not going to let it sit and be either a resting whip or a forgotten whip. I am going to finish it. Speaking of whips that uh, you get tired of, I know that um, I have a work in progress. I mentioned in another video. I have a blanket 
that is camouflage that's for the kids for one of the future grandchildren and I'm gonna rip it out I'm not enjoying it it's a moss stitch I love the moss stitch in small quantities this blanket is um, probably three foot wide and would have to be three to four foot long and I'm not happy with it. I love the drape I love how it feels but I'm finding myself because of the way that um, the tutorial I used that did the moss stitch I think was a little different and the way they pick up the way that the last stitch on the end goes I keep ending up missing it and so it's aggravating me and it's getting wonky on the side some and I think that's because I'm going back and forth to it and not staying with it long term like you know it's not the project I pick up every day I pick it up now I may lay it down for a week or a few days and pick it up again later so it's aggravating me that I'm thinking it's and even when it's not off I still feel like it's off and question myself and so I know I had to rip out several rows recently because it was messed up and so I'm done I'm gonna rip it out and probably do a C to C because we're a granny or something that makes me happy because that doesn't make me happy I'm done I'm not gonna do things that don't make me happy this yeah. year um, this is my year to be free and enjoy it and um, yeah I'm super super happy about that and uh, yeah my little bumblebee right there peeking through <laughs> I love it so um, anyway um, like I said, I didn't do that. Somebody sent that to me. And I'm, I think I know who, but I don't want to say the wrong person. And um, But there it is. It's hanging in a prominent place right there where I can see it every day. So um, I just want to say thank you again for whoever did send me that. And I think I know your name. But um, like I said, I don't want to give credit to the wrong person. I can go back and look and figure it out. But um, I'm just thankful regardless, right? And I know I've said thank you before. And... Um, the name is in my head, and so know that you were in my heart, and I just don't want to say it wrong. But anyway, we hope you have a great day. Don't forget to be kind because you know, Melissa's journey. Bye. Bye.